They were all wrong about Stellar Blade. They wanted us to believe that it was just about the booty and there was nothing but booty. However, now that the demo is officially out, it has destroyed every Stellar Blade is bad narrative to ever exist. Stellar Blade opens with an absolute bang with Eve crashing into the planet. Taki, another badass warrior, helps her escape the crash pod and there the journey begins, throwing you right into the fight. The music and the art design is nothing less than amazing and once you take control of your character, it slowly guides you through the gameplay. But the beauty of it all is it's not for long as you begin taking on tougher enemies as the minutes pass. Now Stellar Blade has an easy mode for those of you who want to experience it that way, but there's also a normal mode that's going to give you that challenge that you might be looking for with a game like this. It's going to focus mostly on defense, so dodging, blocking, parrying, and then countering aggressively. What's even more incredible is just how much deeper the gameplay gets, and that's apparent through the large skill trees. I also noticed the possibility of multiple playable characters as there is a tab for Eve and you can use L1 and R1 to cycle. Makes you wonder what else is going on. What I love about Stellar Blade is it's not just Eve and her many outfits, but the enemy design is very Souls-like. We also have a major moment with Taki showing that Shift Up is not afraid to take risks and kill off some of its characters. It reminds me very much of Nier Automata, and it makes sense considering they took major inspiration from Nier. Quote, Nier Automata left a huge impression on me, said Kim. It made me realize that a game like this could be made and allowed me to rediscover the kind of game that I want to make. I also love that Stellar Blade is taking a deep narrative approach. They want to give you that story-driven experience, and that's something that I gravitate towards. I love that in my video games. I want you to give me something to become attached to. I want to feel like something is on the line and there are characters I want to fight for. I feel like Stellar Blade was able to accomplish that in the demo, and I expect that there'll be more in the full game. The graphics, the performance, three different modes to choose from. You have the resolution mode obviously running at 4K, 30 FPS. You have the balance mode with a 1440p resolution and 50 to 60 frames per second. And then you have the performance mode, which is a locked 60 FPS, obviously my chosen mode because those frames are so important to me and I love to play at high frame rates. And the controller haptics are just phenomenal. Nothing feels greater than raindrops on your controller haptics. It is so satisfying, and if they can keep delivering on that immersive experience, I don't imagine I walk away unhappy. Like all games though, there is room for improvement, and based on the Stellar Blade demo, I can only assume that some things will likely improve, and then some things are a little bit up in the air. But let's talk about those three things. Number one, I need to know this gameplay will become quicker through player upgrades, as it does feel slow at times. Like there are times where I'm wondering, is this a, a matter of skill trees? opening up and using skill points and introducing new mechanics or is this a case where this is just how the gameplay is and i'm starting to think that it's likely due to us needing to upgrade our character number two the controls do feel stiff at times now i play on a one millisecond response time gaming monitor so latency isn't really an issue here i do wonder if that's something that will be better in the full game or if this is just how the gameplay is made and that's what we are to expect and number three they need to deliver on the pacing that they did with the demo it needs to have great music story uh gameplay moments set pieces things that are going to keep our attention and keep us excited through the entire experience the list of complaints are quite clearly short like there isn't much here that i have an issue with but that's just a testament of how good the demo experience was i saw many outlets talk about how this game is being sold on an over sexualized protagonist but not only is that a lie because games like Nier Automata and Bayonetta exist, but also because based on the demo, the gameplay is strong and it's the focal point of the game alongside what seems to be a solid attempt at a strong narrative story. Are the characters in the game made to be attractive in the traditional sense? Of course, but there is absolutely nothing wrong with that as beauty exists all around the world. And while we have characters more recently who take on what is claimed to be the more realistic woman, 
Eve's body is actually taken from a Korean woman named Shin jae yoon All this to say that you can like Fable's main protagonist and also like Eve from Stellar Blade. Now, I hope that this game does not get unjustly scrutinized for Eve's appearance as we've already seen IGN France talk about it. But I hope that journalists who are given a voice and given a platform and given an opportunity to impact things like meta scores that matter to these developers take it seriously and really consider the game more than anything. But we all know that won't be the case for everyone.